Hey guys, how's it going? Ninja here, and we have today a very special treat. We have the first place deck profile from last week's Shadow Games with the man himself, Logan JYA. How you doing, my man? Very good, brother. Ninja, thank you so much for bringing me on and for hosting this tournament. It was so much fun. I had a great time and I really got to abuse Infernity Archfiend. It was wonderful. Yeah, no, that card was absolutely glued to your hand the entire time. <laughs> it was one of the small things I liked about EDO Pro that day. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so as you all know, it was 60 card Highlander, right? So when you look at these ratios, don't be surprised, right? So let's just get into it, right? We've got Alec, Archfiend Eris, Armageddon Knight. Like, I think you're playing every single BA, if I'm not mistaken. Almost all of them, but I did forget Libic, which special summons from hand and negates its effects, which actually hurt me a few times, but it's okay. I'll put it in the next build. Yep, and then you've got uh, a lot of the dangers. You've got Dark Greffer, 001 and 3. Gilosaurus. Basically, the point of this deck is you extend either into Needle Fiber combo or two level threes, which lets you get access to uh, Cherubini, where you send Graph and then summon uh, Rubik from deck, which is a tuner. And then bada bing, bada boom. That's the combo we all hate, baby. Let's go. Yes, it is easy as one, two, three. The other cool thing, though, is if you see a tuner on top of your um, uh, Cherubini Burning Abyss plays, not only do you have access to the Synchro combo, but you have your starting pieces to your Infernity combo. So it yes. can make some really nuts boards. Because I think it was you were sending Rhino Warrior and then sending Archfiend Eris to search uh, Infernity Archfiend. Yes, sir. That is that is the play. It's 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 amazing, and we play a lot more cards to get into it. But let's let's finish going through the main deck, and I can talk more about that a yeah. little later. We've got a uh, you know psychic wheeler, plague spreader, just a lot of tuners here. We've got, and then of course all the infinity stuff, patriarch, necromancer, uh, stygian street patrol, archfiend, uh, and then spells. We've got call by the grave. This is a combo deck. Uh, card destruction. You probably want those BAs in the graveyard. Dark ruler no more. The two expected decks to top this event people were talking about was BA and Pendulum. And that just so happened to be it. So I think that Dark Ruler was a very good meta call here. You got the E Telly to extend for your tuners. We got Foolish Droplets for those big end boards that don't end on Herald. You've got Launcher. Uh, Monster Reborn, one for one, Popper Up, very good in this deck. Uh, Rhoda for Armageddon Knight, Tuning for your Synchrons, Upstart, uh, Void Apocalypse. Now, yes. what does this card do? What does this, this card do? Car this card is one of the best cards for the Infernity plays. You play it as a three of in modern day Infernity decks because it's a foolish burial for fiends that also empties cards out of your hands. This card plus Stygian Street Patrol is full Infernity combo, which is awesome um it's uh yeah you basically use it and um you can send any card from your um hand to the graveyard to foolish your um archfiend eris and since it's being sent by a card effect it will trigger to grab your archfiend um you can also use it to discard tuners that you would like in your graveyard like the jet synchron you can discard bas to trigger their effects it was very very useful in this particular build all right and then of course we got the lightning storm we got the evenly matched you got to have those blowout cards for such a I don't want to say dice rolly, but very, uh, I don't know. Like, you know, it's yeah. just RNG format, right? A hundred percent, because it's not just about who goes first. It's what you see in your opening hand. And you just want to have as many one card starters as possible for whichever engines you choose to play. Most definitely. And then we see the Imperm as the hand trap of choice and then barrier break. It wouldn't be an infernity deck without it, right? Yes. Yes. And so, um, Definitely. I just want to say, like, the reason why I'm not playing any more traditional hand traps like Ash, Ogre, Veil, or anything like that, for those of you who don't know, directly conflicts with the Infernity side of the deck. If you have those cards stuck in your hand without a way to get rid of them, uh, like, say, you, you're going first and they're in your hand, it completely bricks your Infernity combo. So it's um, that's why I opted to play spells and traps, um, like big board wipes, impermanence, evenly matched, droplets, uh, dark ruler, because it let me go second still have security in that i would have some potential blowouts uh but they wouldn't brick my infernity plays if i had to go first because i could just throw them in the back row 
All right, let's move on to the extra deck. Of course, you got the two big boys on the end board, Savage and Herald. You've got Levier, staple in BA decks. You've got Dugaris. Now this card came up like every single game that I spectated. Basically, what Logan would do is he'd put another level four and Archfiend on board. He would get the search with Archfiend. It would usually be he would search Patriarch, Special Patriarch. Overlay for Dugaris. Detach two from Dugaris, bring back the Archfiend, Archfiend search. And that would just let him extend for days. And then exactly. we've got- They turn themselves into a link two afterwards. It puts your Archfiend mm -hmm. back in graveyard. You resolve mm -hmm. launcher. And then we've got Apollosa, key for end boards. Uh, you've got Barricade Borg. It lets you discard a card for free. Why wouldn't you play it? Um, Cherubini, Needle Fiber, stars of the show. Cerberus, Phoenix, Unicorn, Aurora Dawn to set up those tokens. Um, Mirage as kind of a let's get something off the board card. Saryuya came in very clutch in the finals. Very clutch. And uh, Trigate for the Cerberus, Phoenix, Trigate, and then like a Saryuya on top. That's a very big OTK right there. Oh, yes, it was. And it and it's also in a format like this where it's like a you know reusable negate, not limited. It's just once per turn, negate and banish. It's it's mm -hmm. it's very, very useful. And also its other effect to just banish a card your opponent controls came up uh, a lot as well. If I couldn't get the full three co-links online, just the two might be enough to seal the deal. Mm-hmm. Anyway, now on to the extra deck. We've got from right to left. Torrential Tribute, Strike, Warning. We've got a Eldritch Engine right here. Uh, Twin Twisters, Cosmic Cyclone. MST, Vanity's Fiend, and Ru Majesty's Fiend. And then, of course, <laughs> the mascot. We gotta have it. Jinzo, baby. Of course, I, dude, I, I really wanted to see it. And I was telling people on my stream, I was like, yo, last game of the finals, I'll just bring this in for fun and we'll see what happens. Of course, didn't see it. But it actually, there was a matchup where I did really want to see it. I was playing against Shiro, who was playing a really weird deck. It was like Paleos, uh, Alistair the Invoker and the Invoked Engine, uh, a lot of trap cards. And I was like, holy moly, the Jinzo might actually come up. I got to throw this in there. And unfortunately, I didn't see it. But the cool thing about those Tribute Summon monsters on the end there is that they have direction energy with your burning abyss monsters because one of the best plays you can possibly do is your special summon to be a tribute summon jinzo majesty or vanities and it locks out your opponent so mm -hmm. unfortunately didn't get to do it but it, it it is there it is certainly there any final thoughts anything that you would want to change about the deck anything in the side deck Right, so I definitely want to add Libican going forward because that mm -hmm. was foolish not having that in there. Um, but besides that, I, I've been bouncing back and forth on just tossing the Eldritch cards into the main board and maybe cutting out some of the um, either the, 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 the tuners or um, some cards out of the spell and trap lineup just because of how powerful it is. And they're all also, once again, one card starters. Like you see one of them and it gets you into the rest of them, which mm -hmm. is really cool. And uh, most of the decks that I did end up playing against were playing the Eldritch Engine in the main. Even Shiro was. Even um, my first opponent was playing like a 60 card Highlander zombie build. Of course he was playing this. So that's something I would consider going forward. But besides that, I do want to continue workshopping this and I really want to continue playing this. In fact, you've Ninja, I want to say you've inspired me. I really want to host a Highlander tournament of my own, giving you full credit for the idea and also hopefully having you come through to play in it as well, brother. Thank you so much for having me, man. It was of such course, a pleasure. Of course, of course. And where can we find that potential uh, Highlander tournament of yours, huh? Well, I would say I would love for you guys to slide through to my stream. It's a uh, Logan JYA on Twitch. I'm sure Ninja will throw a link in the description down below. Of course, of course. Um, on that page, you'll find links to the Discord, which is where most information about that kind of stuff will be posted. And you can keep up to date. We also run a free weekly tournament every Wednesday. That is the GG for free tournament series. It is modern Yu-Gi-Oh to emulate the locals online while we are still stuck in the circumstances that we find ourselves in. Uh, very, very good time. I highly suggest you guys come through. We usually have a weekly turnout of anywhere between 20 to 40 players. All right, sounds good. Anyway, that'll about do it. My links and Logan's links will be down in the description. Uh, and I'm out like a broken streetlight. Peace. Peace.